coming to you with the B face and today we have another ready to love review we are finally at the reunion listen I was supposed to do reunion part one last week but life got to life in and I just didn't so we just go and do part one and two and we'll just see how this goes by the way I did end up cutting this wig and I really like it a lot I like it actually better than what it was like whatever the length it length it was before and I feel like if I get this wig again I should like just start off with it cut because what ended up happening is like I had this wig for like two days and the bottom was just already like you know how like when synthetic wigs rub against your clothes or like the back of your neck or whatever it just starts to get like tangled and frazzled and it just looks bad like it started doing that almost immediately and so I feel like if I'm ever in the mood for a blonde bob and I'm loving like these super light highlights in there I would just start off with it cut this is not the point of this video I just thought I'd mention it but anyway um so reunion part one we are um seeing everybody they're all they're all looking great every all the ladies are in their yellow and they look just really nice um so someone said on another channel like they all look like they saw what they look like on the show and then came back like not nah, y'all ain't gonna play us this time around but i don't think they looked particularly bad on the show i just feel like there's always issues with like black women and makeup on tv because i feel like the makeup that you would do normally like every day for your normal life it's probably gonna look a little different so like Jamala in particular had like she just always had like a cast like it was just yellower like more yellow than her neck and chest but I just think some of that's lighting it probably looks good when you look in the mirror but how are you supposed to imitate all those TV lights to know what you're gonna look like on TV I will say Kayla looked much better and also Sharice looked much better Kadian is very pretty and she looked good through the season and tonight um but Kayla had like I don't know what it was like her hair did look nice it was kind of like pulled back like it was like half up half down and then she had like this liner going on that made her lips look really plump and then um Sharice looked very good I I liked how Sharice looked and I liked how her hair was styled and you know kind of like swept over and blah 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 whatever I like the looks um so we get started and we're starting off with Randall and Jamala we figured that they were not together anymore um just from the previews right so they were playing the little reel and Kayla was just like looking at it and kind of rolling her eyes um and they just never said what was actually going on they just said we're working through things and um <laughs> Jamala mentioned uh from what I hear from what I understand we're not dating exclusively which means it's not on her part and it's all Randall Randall's not dating exclusively but Jamala probably is dating him exclusively which that is that is a weird place to be because I understand you went through the process and whatever it was only a short amount of time but I just also feel like me personally I would not like after the process is done I don't want to know that you're also dating other people like that's just I feel like we went through the process it's unconventional like okay now can we stop the unconvention like right there because we said when we left the show we were gonna be exclusive and now we're not like that's weird you know anyway um Tommy was just like they stuff there is stuff y'all ain't saying and I concur they probably just are not gonna say all the mess that's going on or all the conversations that they've had um then we get to uh Sharice and all her many disagreements and Zo, listen, I'm sure the first fake as F was funny and like, oh my gosh. But after the third and fourth, it just got really uncomfortable and it makes you look childish. And I, ooh, this is very funny 
because he had all this smoke for Sharice, you got all this smoke for this woman, but backstage, Swayze pressed you a little bit and you left the whole reunion. What is wrong? Like, I don't understand beef like that. Like, how are you so bold when it comes to Sharice? Sharice ain't saying, like, Sharice is talking and she wasn't even saying anything negative to or about you. All you have is this fake up and you're being real loud and I wish Tommy was a little more vocal about uh, Zoe and how he was carrying on because Sharice wasn't saying nothing to him and he was just like loud about it and it's like okay you're telling him to calm down but like be a little more vocal about like you do not need to talk to women like that you don't need to like like there's no reason and also I never heard him say not once what he meant or if there is any backup to his claims about Sharice being fake as F you just keep saying it real loud and at this point, like, okay, we get it. Like, get over it. That was my thing. And like I said, I'm not even Sharice's biggest fan, but like, that was just inappropriate. It was childish, it was cringe, and it just didn't need to happen. That was just a weird moment. Um, then we get to Mike, Brandy, and Kayla. And um, I mean, there wasn't really anything new. I think Kayla said, um, they showed her, uh, they did show her and Mike getting together and him telling her that he was choosing Brandy um, in like the own YouTube channel. They did show that, um, but she didn't say anything different. She still thinks that her and Mike's connection was stronger than hers and Brandy's. And Brandy even said like, looking at it on screen, I could see like they seem to spend a lot of time together. They seem to have a really good connection. And I felt it through the screen watching it. So it was definitely an interesting place to be. Um, but Brandy didn't seem to have any sort of beef. Um, Katie was backstage causing problems for no reason. And I will say, Swayze needs to be careful before this girl gets him into problems he does not need. Because Katie started talking about how, um, Zoe, how do you fit? She's acting like she, like this is reality TV for her, like on her screen, like she's not a part of nothing. She's just watching it unfold and then causing problems. Like she's, Zo, how does it feel that Kayla, your connection is talking about blah, blah, blah. And then they start to talk in and somehow Swayze's name gets pulled into it and then he stands up and it's a problem. And Zo walks off. Oh, because you can't have no real beef with no man who's checking, but you can have a whole lot of beef with a woman. Gotcha. Anyway, Dominica got real upset and she was like, you just never, uh, with Mike, she was like, you never gave me a chance and it's weird because I feel like me and Brandy have like the same personality and you just kind of wrote me off and then why does this kept? I know the girl you're really dating. And Mike was like, hmm, huh, what? Who knows if any of that is true? Dominica did get a lot of airtime in that first, uh, in the first part of the reunion because I mean, she didn't, I mean, she wasn't on the show long and she didn't really have a story outside of whatever mess that happened outside of the show that she was trying to concoct, but you know, it is what it is. Um, they didn't say in the part one reunion that Brandy and Mike were together and like I said from the previews, it was super weird because it was like they're not touching, they're not hugging or anything like that. And it seems like throughout the process, Mike was real hugged up with her. So it was weird that like you would think he's kind of an affectionate guy and he'd just kind of be on her anyway. But yeah, so they didn't say it in part one, they said it in part two. Um, so then they get to Shakira and I will say, I think that Sharice is correct that Sh Shakira gets offended by just about anything. And I think that Shakira acknowledged that a little bit and she was like, yeah, mm-hmm. Yeah, there were some things going on. I needed a little healing and all of that stuff. So she kind of acknowledged it, but then she kind of got into beef with Sharice and Kadian again. Um, Kadian is like, I didn't even say anything and she's playing the victim and blah, 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 and whatever. I mean, it was just a re, um, regurgitation of whatever the beef was throughout the season. Like nothing got resolved. Um, I still maintain that the conversation at the table, they could have just let her walk away and then none of this would have happened. However, she probably would have gotten offended at something else. Whatever. That was all with that 
situation. Then Tommy's like, Swayze, what happened backstage? And Zoe's not here and blah, blah, blah. And so he's just like, I don't even remember what was said, but he said something slick and then I said something that I got up and then he left. I'm like, you don't remember Katie starting some stuff back there too? Okay. Be careful. But then we get to LJ and it looks like Looney, Sharice, and Trinika all dated LJ outside of the process. And that was very shocking. Also, uh, Trinika was real hugged up with LJ on the couch, like very much holding hands and all that stuff. So it seems like he really is the ladies man that they were trying to push that storyline on the show that I just never saw. But afterward, it's like, oh yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> but yeah, that was all for LJ. Um, also, by the way, with LJ, the reason that I couldn't see the ladies man thing was because every ladies lounge, all these women could say was he feels like a friend, he's friend zone and all of this stuff. But it's like, y'all get to the reunion and tunes have changed. Y'all been dating this man outside. Like, what is going on? Like, this is so different. So that's why I'm like, this was never the case on the show. Y'all had all the friends in the world to say about him and then we're dating him outside the process. So then um, they get everyone back on the couches and then they get to like a video reel of shady moments on the show. And then that leads to Sharice and Katie and getting into it. And then Katie is like, I respect it out you. And of course Sharice gets up and it's like, I dare you to smack me. I want you to smack me, blah, 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 blah whatever. So then in the previews for season, for the reunion part two, they were talking about like Samson had a girlfriend and like I had shrugs for that because I was like, who really cares, honestly? Um, and then we're gonna get into Brandy and Mike's situation, Randall's harem, whatever. Um, and then it seemed like a lot of girls had a beef with Jamala and when the previews came on, I was like, you know what? I wonder if she's a mean girl, like in real life, because you didn't really see that too much on the show. All her beef was really with Randall and him not making the assertion and like telling the ladies like outright it's me and Jamala and I'm doing the process but she is up here um but at the reunion it seems like all these girls have beef with her and I'm like well she's friends with Kadian so it wouldn't be a stretch that she's a little mean but I don't know they had a lot of smoke for her um I'm glad this is a two-part reunion because part one actually was very interesting and part two is even more interesting. So let's get to that one. All right, so reunion part two, we pick up right where we left off and it's Sharice and Katie and getting into it. Um, so while Sharice is standing up, Justice is like standing up with her and trying to get her to calm down and like holding her hand and all of that stuff. And yo, producer came out and was like sitting <laughs> And that really made me laugh because at the end of the day, she did end up sitting down. Um, and also, Kayla started crying. And I get the point of like, why does it always have to be black women? Why are we always the ones like acting a fool on TV? Why can't we really, you know, and she said this at the end, you know, portray black excellence and do a better job. However, a little later, she and Jamala get into a little bit. It's not the same level. She is just getting into an argument, but it's like, I understand that it's not a good look for women to be getting up and all of that stuff and looking like they're fighting and, you know, why can't we be on one accord or, you know, at least present a good image to the public. Girl, you on reality TV, y'all sign up for this. And I know good and doggone well from what people from this season and past seasons have said, they do all sorts of interviews and tests and, and um, psychiatry readings to make sure that you're just a little bit not stable so that the scenes are interesting and they know what situations to put y'all in to get a rise out of you. They know, they know which personalities you're probably not going to get along with or that you might butt heads with. And Sharice and Kadian are prime examples of that. They were cool until they weren't. And then Kadian actually started the whole mess by saying she was going to slap the girl. So I don't really have anything for that. 
Um, then we get to Justice and just the mess that he be saying about like not pursuing women and he wants a woman to be placed into it, like put herself in position to be chosen or whatever that means. Then Kadian, of course, jumps in and is like, well, what happened with Looney? Because Looney was like, came for you in the ladies lounge and blah, 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 whatever. So yeah, so Kadian um, is like sitting there smirking like she won something and Looney then walks off. This reunion has had the most walk-offs. I feel like every two seconds somebody's walking off the stage or leaving or whatever. Um, I, I don't know. Looney seemed very upset with whatever Justice was saying. I don't understand what the heck he was talking about. It sounded to me like he was saying that what happened with him and Looney was that it was hard for him to focus on Looney because there were just so many people around and the point was to get to know everyone and so it was just difficult and so he stepped back a little bit and then he wanted to be friends but Looney's like but we were not friends so <laughs> so there's that and so it's like Okay, so did you put any effort in to be a friend to her, to be a good friend to her? And then uh, someone else said something. I can't remember if it was like Sharice or, no, no, it was Kayla. It was Kayla and he was, she was saying like, well, are, were you offering to be in an exclusive relationship and blah, blah, blah. And he was like, well, I don't wanna put no labels or boundaries or you know, put love in a box or whatever. And it's like, I hate that. I hate when people say that because it's like, how is anyone supposed to be clear about what is happening in a potential relationship if you won't give any definition to what you're willing to participate in? Like, I know, I know that it's not a popular, like we live in this era where it's like, no labels, no boundaries, love is whatever. And it's like, all right, cool girl, but like, what is this though? What are, what are we doing? What is happening here? I feel like if you don't wanna be in a committed relationship, if you don't wanna to commit to one person, there's an easier and clearer way to say that than just talking around the subject. That's all I'm saying. So then Justice goes backstage to like talk to Looney and they go outside and have a conversation. By the end of that conversation, she was snuggled up in his jacket and looked like that is exactly where she wanted to be. So I'm like, whatever, girl, you just wanted him to put a little effort in and that's fine. Like that is fine. And it seems like he is a bit, like he is a very charming person. Like he is a charming man and I Looney was smiling ear to ear by the end of that conversation so you know no more power to them then we get to Samson his uh gift giving comes up and listen I personally don't think that the gift giving was a problem especially because it really did seem genuine and it was like specific to each lady and it wasn't the same thing to everyone I don't think that was the problem I do get Sharice's point about Samson not actually claiming her and her wanting to be um, chosen and chosen out loud and not just in private. And I think Mike's point was so spot on about like, they both have things that they want and neither of them are willing to bend and that's just where it is. And then um, Samson mentions, of course, that he has a girlfriend and Sharice was like, mm. And it seemed as though he had told her earlier, like, you know, he wished things had turned out differently between them and whatever. And that is, to me, an odd thing to say to someone without divulging that you're also currently in a relationship. You know, it's weird. And also, the fact that the girl he's with right now is someone he knew before the show is giving two things. One, it's giving, I just did this for TV. And two, it may also just be giving, I wanted to win and I wanted to upstage and I wanted to come back on the show and be like, haha, I got a girlfriend now, what's good? Like, that's what it's giving to me. It is not giving genuine love and whatever. It's just giving exposure and I don't buy it, but you know, hope it works out for you. Um, and then we get back from the break. Justice and Looney are just 
hugged up on the couch. That girl is not letting that man's arm go. Like I said, he just needed to put a little effort in and that's all she wanted because she had moved not one inch the rest of the show. She was, if, 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 what is his name? I almost said Samson. If, uh, not Swayze, dog on it. If Justice was sitting right there and she was there, arm linked up, she was just right there with him. Um, and then Trinika and LJ were holding hands, which, you know, whatever. Um, Katie and Swayze are all in love. They're, you know, this is my girl. They're throwing the word soulmate around and it's like, they're just, you know, a thing. So good for them. Um, then we get to Randall. And so this is where all the smoke came in for Jamala and the ladies. And no one had any smoke for Randall. I'm so surprised about that. Because to be honest, I don't understand why the ladies issue is with Jamala not being secure when it should be about Randall not making a decision. And there are some guys backstage who are like, he's not the dude who's gonna make a decision. And I get that, I get that. Also, Justice said something like that. And I was like, shut up, Looney just now got, <laughs> you just got off the block list, be quiet. You don't have any room here to talk. But I mean, it's true though. Like, I do not understand why they're so upset with Jamala or arguing with Jamala or whatever, or trying to give her advice and say how she should be. When it really needs to be like, Randall should have made a decision or all three of you ladies should have like ex exited stage left because he's not choosing any of you. And I love how Trinika was real loud and vocal about, girl, uh, you so pressed about a man who's not claiming you outside the show. And I, I feel like it sounds like I'm caping a lot for Jamala and I did like her. I do see that there are some issues there. However, in this situation, I don't feel like she did anything too wrong. Like she connected with someone, thought he connected with her on a mutual level, thought that what they were talking about was serious and that it was just him and her. And then here come these girls like, you should have been secure, blah, blah, blah. And it turns out Randall's still dating Kayla. So I don't understand this. And then Randall said something like, something to Tommy like, Tommy, you said we needed to explore these connections and I was doing that. And Tommy's like, yeah, you was doing that. But at the end of, of the show, the point is that you're supposed to make a decision and you did make a decision and then you reneged on that decision. And so my thing is like, if you weren't sure, if you didn't really want to date exclusively, you should have just said, you know, I am feeling you. However, I just don't think that I can commit to dating you exclusively at this time. I'm just still a little confused. He did not seem on the show like he was super torn up about this decision. He seemed like he wanted to stay on as though he was maintaining his relationship. Mike seemed more confused and on the edge about who he was going to choose to the point where at the end, I was like, dang, I really do see the connection with both these ladies. And then he got to the reunion and was like, this choice was not hard. I was not confused. It was Brandy this whole time. And that's it. That's that. And so, yeah, that was my thing. Like, Randall needed a lot more smoke than he got on this reunion. Um, then we get to Mike and Brandy. Their reel was super cute. And then they were actually holding hands at that time. And so that was, like, nice. I really don't know why he hasn't been super affectionate, like, while they were sitting there this whole time. It seemed like he was a lot more affectionate on the show, like I said. Um, oh, by the way. Back to Randall, there was a moment where uh, Jamala was like pushing, you know, like when you're sitting back and you need to push yourself up to sit up, she, her hand like brushed against Randall's while she was doing that. He pulled that hand away real fast and I did peep that. I was like, oof, they are not lasting. Um, so yeah, so Mike and Brandy, uh, I loved the part where Mike was like, um, seeing that, you know, knowing that Brandy hasn't been in a real relationship made him want to step up and show her what she should be treated like. I was like, yes, Mike, absolutely do that. Ab absolutely here for it. And so I'm glad that they're still together. I, um, they're mentioning, you know, the future and they boot up real bad, according to <laughs> Brandy, which is really cute. I hope it works out. Brandy seems like a super sweet girl. 
And from what Mike was talking at this reunion, he seemed like he's making an effort to be a solid guy, at least for her. So hoping it works out for them. They're like the only people I'm rooting for at this point. Um, so then we're at the end. Randall and Jamala are like super done. Jamala's like, he, we not even friends no more at this point. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm over it. Um, more power to her. Because honestly, the mess that they were talking at this reunion, you should have been Chuck that man deuces. Like, that's such an old term, but like so relevant for right now because girl, he's not going to choose you. And that is just evident from what he's been doing this entire season. He ain't choosing nobody. And he is dating Kayla. I don't know where she ranks among whatever harem he's messing with now, but I'm just saying that's not a prize that I would want of, of someone who is indecisive and that I've spent so much time with you and that you still won't say it's me and you. Like you still are on the fence. Like I can do it. So good for her. Um, so that's the uh, end of the season. And we had another season coming in January. And listen, as much crap as I talk about the show and how it gets progressively worse every season, like this is the worst season by far, I'm still going to tune in. January 2023, I'm going to be right here. And so <laughs> whatever, I like it. It's, it's fun to me and it's very interesting and, you know, I like to see new black people on TV. Um, I was thinking about trying to do like some other show reviews because I like this. Like I do like to just kind of talk crap on, you know, TV shows and stuff like that. But I just personally don't watch a lot of reality TV. I did like do one or two reviews on Put a Ring on It. But part of the reason I don't watch reality TV is because it does get very difficult to separate a character on TV from the real person and like the stuff that they be going through in real life and it just is like put a ring on it got real bad real fast it was just like oof I can't sign on to that and I don't want to watch it I do watch Bell Collective so maybe the next season of Bell Collective I'll try to watch however I enjoy Bell Collective partially because I love the accents and I love Southern people, but it is not a super interest, like it's not rot with drama. It's not like, the biggest drama from Bell Collective is that um, Marie and Latrice or Leticia, one of the loves, they just keep arguing and they just cannot get it together. They were cool for half a season and then by the reunion it was like nothing. Um, and then um, Hair Street, that is still an ongoing topic. And then uh, Letitia? Letitia and her husband who be philandering out in these streets. That is about it. So maybe, maybe I'll do Bell Collective. What I do watch, <laughs> I watch like the only shows that I really like be tuning into every week are like, um, there's a show that's new on Hulu, Reasonable Doubt, which is very interesting, but we're like really far into it. So we'll see about that. Um, I love MasterChef. It's like the, my favorite show of all time, but there's really nothing to really talk about there. Um, I love Sweet Magnolias on Netflix and I do watch you, but I watch that sporadically because I'm not a horror person and I'm not a scary movie person and some of those murders be like, <laughs> I don't want to watch that. So, and also that has not been as good since the first season. I did like the black girl he was dating in the last season though, or that he was stalking, he wasn't actually dating her. Uh, <laughs> um, what else do I watch? That's about it. I, don't, I really am not a huge, like, super deep into TV person. So we'll see. We'll see. I do want to give, like, kind of an update and, like, why my background is different than it has been. And, you know, maybe I'll do. I did get, like, a new blonde situation. So I'm, I'm trying to work that out. But, y'all, I am not good at human hair wigs. So we will see. That might just be a work in progress. 
But anyway, thank you all for sticking it out with me through this season of Ready to Love, as trash as it may have been. I am excited for the next one. So I will see you guys next time. Bye.